where I talk about my injury and how I'm I got here and how I'm recovering. Three weeks ago, while surf skating, I I actually have a video of that, but I don't think I will insert it. I'll just insert a small clip here of that day. Basically, we've been surf skating regularly for a month, and that day I was really, really stoked. I thought that I was gonna be able to do the drop that I've been planning to do for some days, and yeah, I felt courageous that day. I just really miscalculated the landing. When I did the drop, I landed on my back foot, which is my right foot, and my ass fell on my back foot, which twisted my ankle. Three weeks ago, I was rushed to the hospital and started my journey with I will insert videos um, of the past few weeks. Hopefully, um, you'll join me in this adventure. This was a few minutes before the accident. I hesitated a lot, but I was in good spirit. As soon as I wiped out, I knew that I was in trouble. Luckily, I was with my friend who rushed to his phone and called the ambulance. Less than 10 minutes after, they were there. I really didn't feel anything at this time because of adrenaline. So I couldn't tell if my knee or my shin was broken too. I remember more people came to help bring me up because I was at the bottom of the bowl. It was an emergency so everything was really fast back in the hospital. Around this time, the pain also jumped up from 0 to 100. The x-ray confirmed that I broke both sides of my ankle. This was the first time I saw my foot after the accident. It was such a huge relief when they put back my ankle into place and put it in a cast. It felt back to normal and I can just walk out from there. They were not able to schedule an operation that afternoon so they admitted me and I had to spend the night there. This was my first time being admitted in a hospital in Europe. Around lunchtime, they brought me to the operating room. I was having mixed emotions. This was the recovery room. The operation took around two hours and I was so happy to wake up and there was the sun. They use epidural for anesthesia, so around this time I was trying to feel my legs because I couldn't feel it at all. This was the x-ray right after the accident and this was the x-ray right after the surgery. I had to spend that night at the hospital again for observation. I didn't really get some sleep because it was too painful. The next day I was so happy to be hungry and to feel my legs again. <laughs> this was the first time I tried to sit up after the surgery, so I was quite proud of myself. I was discharged in the afternoon. They said the operation went well. I was not in the hospital for a long time, but it really felt good to be outside. The doctor said I just really need to elevate my leg all the time. The elevator was tiny, so it was a struggle to go inside there and going back to the flat after some days of being away. First night back was a struggle because I was high from the painkillers and I was really in a lot of pain. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something. As for, for me, I know that I still have a long way to go and as of the moment, I still need to get used to being this and be injured. For my next video, I'm gonna tell you about um, the struggles of the first week and what I did to basically make this whole ordeal a little bit more easier. See you on the next video. Goodbye!